going on guys? BC Gamer here. Welcome to my video game setup video. I uh, wanted to let you guys know that I do have certain things, some things I don't have. You guys let me know what you think about this setup, ways that I can improve it, and what you like about the setup. I'm the BC Gamer. Let's do this. Alright guys, so this is my living room setup. This is where I sit when I do the Beastly Thoughts show. And uh, these are my consoles. Uh, this is where I keep my Blue Yeti microphone that I use when I do my Beastly Thoughts. This is my Elgato Game Capture HD. My PS Vita sits over here. Got a PS3 right here. This is a slim model. 250 gigabyte. We got the fat model which is a 80 gigabyte PS3 this is my original PS3 that I bought when it first came out got a couple PS3 controllers we got four terabytes of storage for my knickknacks and doodads we got another two terabyte hard drive up here this is where I keep my PS4 at guys this is the system that uh, this is where all the magic happens PS4. It's a beautiful system. Got uh, both of my controllers. Now look at this. You guys see that? Put it in the light. You see how that controller, the analog nub, is like tearing itself apart? That's something that Sony has really got to take care of. Because uh, if you're paying good money for a console, you don't want these kind of things to be happening to your controller six months in. And uh, these are my uh, Turtle Beach P4Cs that Nova reviewed. They stay up here and plug right into the controller. Pretty nice. And um, I got some games. Let's, let's check out some of these games. Uh, we got some 3DS games, some DS games, and then we got some 360 stuff. We got uh, ooh, a Neo Geo Pocket Color game. I don't know if you guys ever seen any of these before. This is what they look like. That's what a Neo Geo Pocket Color game actually looks like. <laughs> uh, and then I got some Xbox stuff, as you guys can see. You gotta have the classics. Certain things you just have to have in your collection. And then up here we got some Dreamcast and some PlayStation stuff. If you guys see any games that you want to see me play, or uh, you know maybe stream, let me know. And then moving up, we got some PS2 games. We got some nice classics here. Some PS4 stuff. Got my Smash Brothers Melee, which is one of my favorite games. Some more PS2 stuff over on this side. Got some home remedies just in case I get sick. You got to keep that, guys, because you know hospitals kill people. Uh, the Webster's Dictionary for those of us that are inarticulate. And on this side. We got some retro cartridges. We got some Super Nintendo stuff over here. Coupled with some Nintendo 64 stuff. Got some Game Gear games. Let's see what Game Gear games we got here. Some of these games are actually pretty fun. I wanted a Game Gear originally for this crappy game. <laughs> and um, we got some Sega. Check this out. When was the last time you guys saw that? Now that is old, guys. If, you, if you're old enough to remember that game, leave a comment and let me know how old you are. We got some Vita games, some PS3 stuff, some more PS3 stuff, some Blu-rays. My favorite Blu-ray of all time would probably be Planet Earth right there. Great stuff. Alright, guys. This is my 60-inch Vizio LED Smart TV. Now I absolutely love this TV. It has so much going for itself. It's only 120 hertz, but that's all I need for my gaming. Uh, it has Wi-Fi connectability. It has four HDMI inputs. It has three USB 3.0 inputs for things like external hard drives. So if you got movies on your external hard drives or music or even pictures, you can plug them into this thing and play them directly from your hard drive. As you guys can see, it has uh, basically an app store that you can go through and, and check out some of these you know, applications. And if you don't have them on your t television, you can download them directly to your TV for free. 
and use them some of them are paid apps many of them are not as you guys can see there's tons of stuff on here the thing that we use this for most is YouTube uh, I use it for Twitter I use it for Facebook and I use it for Netflix but there's games on here there are there's news local news all the local Atlanta stuff and uh, so when I'm not in game mode my TV has so many different avenues of entertainment for me and it keeps me busy it keeps me um, it keeps me uh, straight and this is an awesome TV the picture looks fantastic when you're playing video games in game mode um, it you can't beat it really when you're playing video games in game mode and then if you hit the V button at the bottom of the remote right here you bring up just this mini icon that you can just flip through real quick go to say YouTube you go into this hey guys you guys see the BC gamer you see my buster sword yeah it's a really fast TV it's very uh, ooh, look it's Bin Laden son of a bitch uh, but it's a great great TV I love this TV I think it complements my video game systems really well and now we're gonna move on now directly across from uh, my living room is my dining room and this is where I keep my game shrine of course you see Mario uh, hailing Killing the world as he is the leader of the old world and not the new world. But this is where I keep all my old consoles. If I ever feel like playing them, I can come in here and grab any of them. They all work. Game Gear, 3DS, Neo Geo Pocket. Got a couple PSPs back there. Game G GBA, Micro, got a 64. Got some. Donkey Kong Jungle Juice! Some Mario Power Up. Ooh, it's Umbrella! Psych. Yeah, but um, Mario Power Up. I, when I see stuff like this, I go ahead and buy it. Uh, just to have it. Got a couple uh, Game Cubes. Somebody's gonna get a, a butt whooping for putting that controller on top of my Nintendo 64. Got a Dreamcast. PS2. PS1. Sega, Saturn, or Sega Genesis, I'm sorry, Super Nintendo, uh, 360, Saturn, and an Xbox. And um, these games keep me busy when, I, when I'm bored. And uh, when I'm not playing the new stuff, like I'm going to play some Dreamcast this week. So that's why I got it right in the middle. I'm going to pull it out and play it and stream it. And uh, these are the rest of my consoles. Now I do have a few more. I got another PS3 in my room. I uh, got one in my kid's room and a couple more flat panel TVs but for the most part those are my consoles guys and this is my HP Envy 15 guys uh, this is a silver laptop and it's made of uh, polished aluminum just like um, the MacBooks it's got a fingerprint reader so if anybody tries to steal my stuff they're gonna have these big ugly mittens that I got to, to get into it it has Dr. Dre beats built into the actual system so it has a really good sound system these speakers up here are extremely loud and very clear for a laptop uh, and you really can't get better sound out of a laptop than you do with the HP Envy that's really what they're predominantly known for it's got a backlit keyboard uh, and it, it has a very attractive red ring not like Microsoft's red ring but it has its own red ring now this is a quad core PC it's very fast it has six gigs of RAM and it's upgradable up to I think 16 it might be 32 but I'm, I think it's 16 so that's plenty of uh, you know RAM and speed that I guess more than I could ever really need and I haven't had any issues playing this you know playing games on this PC I haven't ran any benchmarks on it but I played some Call of Duty Ghosts on here I played some Battlefield 3 on here I played Outlast on here I've played uh, Amnesia on here and I've ran all those games at medium or high settings with no issues at all so I'm very pleased with this HP NV15 uh, it cost me 750 and uh, it was worth every single penny well thanks for viewing my video game setup I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw leave a comment let me know about the things that you think could be changed or ways that I can improve my setup I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time